This is Mario Central going around here and going to face Mirror B as we left off in the other episode. And this is the Pokemon we're going to have going into it. I'm going to have Umbreon and Swablu start things off. Because I need Swablu to really heal up. Because he'll be very important for this fight. And hopefully, let's go. And we get the awesome music again. Oh my god. This music is so grand. I just can't help but stand up. Oh my god. This music is so good. Oh my god, this music is a uh, look at him spin around like crazy. Oh my god, this music's good. <laughs> I can't get enough of this. Wait, hey, hey, people, going that way is a no, no. <laughs> I never, I actually never knew about that. That's funny. But I love this music. Look at this spin around. I can just. Anytime I do this battle, man, I, I, I have to stand up, but I can't do it now because <laughs> I gotta focus. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh my, I'm just getting such a nurture set up. It's about time, darlings. I was so frightfully tired of waiting for you. Stop the music! No, I didn't do that! Oh, you kept me waiting for so long, I decided to work up a little perspiration. Oh, oh. But my, my, you have been busy being naughty and messing up our plans. It was always so close for everything to turn out just right, just the way we hoped. But I can salvage our plan by beating you, little man, and so, there's time for one last frantic dance before the grand finale. Let the music play. Yes, you start that music, because that's how it should be. Because this whole battle is just this music. This is why I can't, it's so hard for me to just sit down and do this. Oh my god. Anytime I do this fight, look at the Ludicolo. <laughs> oh my god, they're dancing to the music. Look at that. They're <laughs> waving their arms in the beat of the music. That's some jokes. Oh my god. This is why I can't stand, uh, sit down when playing this battle, but I have to focus. So what I'm going to be doing is Ludicolo is actually very, very irritating. <clears throat> this is why I said you have to be prepared for this fight. And this is why I have these two out here. It's because Umbreon can lay down the confusion while Swablu tries to make the other one sing. Because what's annoying about Ludicolo is, in this is you want to not have him attack. He's just very annoying. He has moves like Leech Seed. Oh man, it doesn't end there. When he uses Rain Dance, then he sometimes he gains this ability, which is Rain Dish, where he absorbs some HP. And not only that, he also gains this ability, which raises his speed. So again, you don't want Ludicolo attacking. You want to try to put him to sleep or just have him confused like this and just wail on him afterwards because you want them gone as fast as possible. He has about four Ludicolo as you saw dancing around there and also prancing their arms up like that. That's just... <laughs> oh god, that always makes me laugh. Look at that, he's dancing in his sleep. You get... <laughs> he's got the... He's got the music in him. <laughs> so much so that even in his sleep He's still dancing, but he's such a trooper. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Even in the rain, like, aren't these guys just so good? I mean, you look at my Pokemon, they're so focused. They're like, yo, man, you ain't going, you go, you ain't going to hit us. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Look at, look at the deep focus on my Pokemon. Look at the, his Pokemon. He's just like, oh my god, it's time for a dance, yeah. Uh, it's so jokes. But there goes one Ludicolo, thank goodness. He has a, a wide ver range of Ludicolos. He has it, I think, from 28 to 31, or 29 to 32. One of the one of the two, I don't remember. And this is what I mean, and then he also has moves like that. Giga Drain, it just, you want this man, you don't want them to attack. That's why I have them out there, so we can put them to sleep and confuse them, because for some odd reason, uh, Ludicolo, I don't know, I find any time I confuse them, they always usually hit themselves, which is odd. Yeah, I don't know, it always happens for some reason. <clears throat> Alright, I think I'm just gonna wail on the other one and confuse that one. I'm gonna keep the uh, weaker Ludicolo because I'll be able to take him down more easily. I'll just get rid of the stronger Ludicolo. <laughs> Did I tell you? It just honestly, for some reason, anytime I battle them, it's okay. These guys can take it though. I mean, Umbreon and Swablu are both. <clears throat> I just need Swablu to last one more Ludicolo. That's it. What's also good about this is that he's getting experience. Whoa! Nice job, Swablu! Go into hyper mode now and let's get some more criticals. Uh, what is good about Umbreon and Swablu is that they can take hits. That's what's important because if Ludicolo is going to be very, very annoying. And you can't have Pokemon. You can't send out Pokemon that aren't going to take hits well because you're going to you're going to dwindle down very fast with Elite Seed and Giga Drain and 
you know, all that stuff. That's why you don't want to have Ludicolo attacking. Always try to confuse it. Always try to get it to hurt itself. Always try to put it to sleep. Paralyze it. Do whatever you must. This is the one of those battles you just need to do that. Most of the times you could just go out on the full out offensive and destroy their Pokemon, but this battle you kind of need to because since they do that strategy, you rework that strategy against them. And yeah, there you go. Another one asleep. Yes! Finally! Oh god, okay. At least I killed this one before he gets to, uh... No, not that one. Yeah, there we go. Kill that one before he puts up a rain dance. That's right! <laughs> brain dead! I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I'm in the mood right now. Like, look at the, listen to this music. Even Mirror B is in trance. Yeah, see, I was right. It's from 28 to 31. So I'm gonna go for the 28 while that one's asleep. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> both of them are asleep. Awesome job, Swablu. That's just good. Awesome. That is just so helpful right now. I'm just gonna focus on the 28. He only has one more Pokemon after this, and guess what? It is a Shadow Pokemon. I'll be getting into it in a second. Bite, usually Pokemon, they wake up by the time you use a physical attack. So when you use special attacks, they don't wake up. But when you use uh, attacks, like physical attacks, they usually do, but sometimes they don't. If they're heavy sleepers. And if they're Pokemon that love to dance in their sleep, so they stay asleep. <laughs> hey, they're not in sync. One's going the opposite way and the other one's going the other way. What the hell? Be in sync, people. I know, look, he's going that way and then the other one's just going the other way. I think so. Wait, let me let me take a look at this. No, it should. Okay, fine. Should be he should be dead. Yeah. See, as I said, <laughs> always go for the weak one. Leave the stronger one to last. Or you could just do the other way. Finish off this. Finish off the strong first, and then leave the weak to last. Or finish off the weak first, then leave the strong to last. It's up to you. And this, this is his last Pokemon. Which again, you get rid of his Ludicolo, then there's no problem. It's just his Ludicolo that are incredibly annoying, so you be incredibly annoying to them, and that's how you work this battle. <clears throat> Sudowoto is kind of dancing, you can see he's like kind of moving his branch, he's like, uh, 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 and then he's moving his branch, uh, uh. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get rid of his Ludicolo, because I, I don't want him and Sudowoto to, of course! Fa! Okay, whatever. This is making it worse for Sudowoto anyway, so it's okay. I don't know which ability he has though, it's either the fast or he's gonna slowly gain HP. He's went, oh, there goes Swablu, but he did a good job, I'm not gonna lie, he took out three Ludicolo, I'm proud of that. Now at this point, I don't care if my Pokemon die, and again, yes, I'm being very cruel, but I don't really care because right now I'm just gonna try to catch Sudowoodo, and that may take some time because anytime you try to catch Shadow Pokemon in a game, especially from a boss, it is always harder. <clears throat> especially with Prince and Ludicolos like this one. Unfortunately, I cannot uh, put it to sleep anymore, but I can still confuse it and also have a Shadow Ball going down. So that bad at all. Hopefully his special defense goes down. We see what's so odd is I think that's an attack, but it lowers his special defense. So maybe it is a special attack. We should be doing more though. That's why, because it has good special attack instead of attack. Right? I don't know. Maybe it's the other way. I, don't, I really have no clue. But da ba da da ha ha! Okay, see what I mean? Uh, that's exactly what you have to do, and that was just foolish. Sudowoodo, you are stupid. But now, okay, now that I'm done uh, prancing around with, along with the music, I'll get into explaining Sudowoodo. Sudowoodo is a plain rock type. Kind of strong, he is. He is kind of strong. He's got good physical attack, not so much a special attacker. He can take hits somewhat well. His special defense is not that great. His speed is kind of bad. So overall, I mean, he's kind of looking... Again, it's one of those Pokemon that kind of needs an evolution. You know, it... Unfortunately, he does not. So, I mean, if he had one, I think it would be awesome. But he does not. And it's unfortunate. Because I think he really needs one. It's one of those Pokemon that kind of needs it more so than any other Pokemon. The funny thing with Sudowoodo is because of the grass on his on his on his uh, thing, and because he looks like a tree, I always just thought that he was a rock and grass type, which would have been cool because I don't think there is any rock and grass type, and to my knowledge, but um, that would have been cool. I always used to think he was, and I always used to use moves like flamethrower and stuff to finish him off, and they kept saying not very effective. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's part of grass. Yeah, I was I was so stupid back then. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> oh yes, Mr. Vis, you take it like a boss. <laughs> it's not gonna do much to Umbreon. See, that's the that's the problem with Rock Slide and Rock Throw, Rock Slide in this game. It's because it hits both of them. So that's the problem with that. Because it really doesn't help. Um, dum, 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 dum. 
See, I don't want to kill it, but I don't know. I, I don't want to take a risk with criticals, but I might as well. Because, I mean, he has good physical defense, so he should be able to take it fine. Yeah, see, look, I, I should have done this in the first place. Okay, he's nearly done. I think we are now 10 minutes into the battle. Yeah, these battles do take a while, I'm not going to lie. But I might as well show <laughs> I might as well show them, because they're, they're important. Fortunately, I cannot put him to sleep. But uh, until he finishes off Mischievous, then I won't send him Flaffy, because Flaffy's kind of weak to these things, too. So that's honestly, like, moves like Rock Slide and Heat Wave and Swift got a major knock in this game because they hit both of them. And because they do that, especially Surf. Surf got a huge knock. You don't want those moves on because they don't help. Because for one, they attack you, you too, sometimes, and then they attack both of them, which dwindles its power like crazy. So it just, it really doesn't help. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep doing this until he gets down to red. Or at least, because I don't want him, I don't want to use Bite because I'm afraid he might use Shadow Rush. So I'm just gonna keep doing this, and then slowly doing the, doing the limb down to red. And you can just keep using that, I'm fine with that, kill Mischievous. Fine. <laughs> fine. For one time I agree with you killing a Pokemon. That's so tragic though, Mischievous leaves its pearls, you know. No, don't kill Umbreon! <laughs> that was kind of surprising, I wasn't expecting it to do that much. But, uh, it's kind of tragic, Mischievous just kind of leaves its pearls, it's like, no, And then leaves its pearls, that sucks. I don't know why I said no like that, that was weird. Oh well. Flappy's nearly done, but it's not like I'm trying to purify it. But anyways, we're gonna have to purify all of them anyway to get the ultimate reward in the end, so... Might as well do it. Because <clears throat> as you guys, as I've said, I'm gonna be trying to catch every single Shadow Pokemon in the game, and I'm gonna try to purify all of them, so that way I can get the ultimate prize in the game, which many of you know, and I'm not gonna spoil who it is yet. I might do it so later on, so, because I always end up forgetting that rule, but whatever. It happens. Yeah, I'll just use... Did I, use sh I didn't even see what I chose there. I was just kind of clicking the A button. I'm like, click, 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 click. I uh, know. <laughs> Alright, good enough. So, I think... I'm gonna go with the Great Ball, or should I go with the Pokeball? Yeah, I guess a Great Ball. Yeah, I might as well not take the chance of Pokeballs. Pokeballs have failed me so far. But so have Great Balls, man. Like, honestly, they've just not been useful. Might as well switch to Melee. Then it's just gonna be there to take the hits, because Flaffy is just bleh. It's not gonna help, and especially with Body Slap too, that'll just dwindle it little by little. Sudowoodo, are you gonna catch on the first try? Sudowoodo? Please? Maybe not! I guess not. See, that just never, uh, no, that's never gonna happen. Even though Sudowoodo is easy to catch in the regular Pokemon games, and he is, I don't know what his catch rate is, but I know he's easy to catch. <laughs> Why couldn't you, you were paralyzed and you still put up a fight? What the, f the hell, man? I'm just gonna still go with these. I don't want to use an Ultra Ball on it. That was only for Hitmontop. Because for some reason, Hitmontop just denied both and while in his sleep. That was just... I don't know. <laughs> I used the Synthesis for the hell of it because I don't want him to attack right now. I think this will get him good. <coughs> One. Two. What? What a shake? You are paralyzed! Okay, maybe I should use Body Slime just in case. Hey. Oh, there goes Flaffy. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I'm a. Uh, oh well. I'll, I'll probably just bring him back on Brown or something. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> cause, uh, yeah, no, no. I just send out random Pokemon now because he just needs to catch. I'll just do Reflect if I need it for anything. But I'm gonna go with Revolves for now because I'm pretty sure Bayleaf can keep himself off with some synthesis. <laughs> Okay, are you going to catch now, or do I have to body slam you? One, two, three... Cut! Yes! Alright, the battle is over. We have done it. After 14 minutes. That is crazy. I can't keep up with the tempo. Oh, no, no, what a no, no! Yeah, it's too bad. <clears throat> how, how dare you? Don't you think you'll get away with your latest outrage? One of these days, I'll take great pleasure in kicking you about with my elegant dance steps. Oh, and I'm not giving up our Shadow Pokemon plan. Let's go, escape! And then watch this little glow. They escape by dancing. <laughs> and it's just win. Wesley, did you hear those cries? It must be Plusle. I think those cries came from behind the door. Yes, just as we had checked out before. Jeez, I'm not that foolish, am I? But I want TM49. What is that? I have a feeling of what it is, but I just want to check it out anyway. 
And it's a snatch. What do you know? It's funny how they name the TMs after, like, what what occurs. Because, I mean, Mirror B snatched the puzzle, puzzle so you <laughs> get a TM called Snatch. That's pretty, it's pretty cool. Macho Brace is actually very good for one of my Pokemon, and you already know who it is. It's Makuhita. Because Makuhita has no speed, so I might as well give him to that, because that, that will be very beneficial for him. Usually you would give that to any fighting type, but some fighting types have good speed, so you don't want to interfere with that. But because in this case, because he has no speed, I might as well just give it to him and promote attack and defense. Like, why not? Macho Brace is good for that reason. For Pokemon that really don't have any speed, you might as well just give it to him. <coughs> Shadow Pokemon Lab Champion. Sorry, I didn't read that. I was just getting distracted. But oh well. I don't need to read everything. Wesley, Plussel! Wesley, you're safe. Oh, and Plussel! Kyo and Kyo! I'm not gonna even bother trying to do Pokemon cries because they're too hard. Mirror B got away, but things will be back to normal here. Duking, I don't know what to say. Forget it, Silva. You're all unharmed. That's good enough. Even that Mirror B has been driven out thanks to Wesley. Hmm, what's that, Plussel? Feeling hungry out of relief. Wah ha ha! Okay, Wesley, let's quit this moldy cover and quick! Wesley, we owe you a great deal. Sincerely, thank you. If you were even a bit later, Plus you could have been made the Shadow Pokemon. That's horrible. I'm glad everything's fine, Pokemon. Plusle, too. <coughs> hmm? What's the matter, Plusle? Oh, do you want to... Okay, I understand. Wesley, could you take my Plusle with you? Plusle is saying it wants to help you, too. Yes, yes, that's right. You can't let those criminals get away with it. That's amazing! We've got a cute and brave addition to our party! Wesley, I'm counting on you. And then he just magically jumps into your couch and... <laughs> into your coat and gets transferred to the PC. Tend to investigate the organization behind me or be... Oh! As soon as I discover anything, I'll be in touch. Which reminds me, Wesley. I need your PDA number. Well, that's Pokemon Digital Assistant, or PDA for short. Wesley, where's yours? You have to tell Duke your number so he can contact us. Perfect. I'll be in touch as soon as we discover anything. Very, very cool. The plus we gave you is not a Shadow Pokemon. As it is, it's a normal Pokemon for once. And, um... <clears throat> it's not useful at all because it comes to you at level 5. So just don't even bother with it. It's hard to raise if you If you desperately want a sh electric Pokemon, man, then just go with Flaffy, as I said. It's a nice addition if you really have nothing else to do. But um, don't go with Plusle because Plusle is only really meant for double battling, which is good for this game if he had Minin, but Minin is not with him, so don't even consider it. <laughs> really doesn't help all that much. I mean, he's good, but level 5, man, at this point in the game, why even bother? Oh, 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 I'm sorry, Chief, but there's big news! You see, Chief Mirabi and his uglings have left the town. Uh, huh? You chief? You're not the Chief, I beg your pardon. I'm here, Johnson. The story isn't new. I've heard it about over and over already. Oh, oh gee, there you are. You're such a kidder. <laughs> oh, what a fool. <laughs> Keeps doing the same crap over and over. You two have sure done it. I've just got word from one of Duking's people. So you wiped out Mir and B and his gang. Thank you. On behalf of our whole town, I want to thank you too. But there's also bad news. Headquarters warns that there is a mysterious organization that is plotting world domination. I don't know if it has any connection to Mir and B, but you should be careful. Don't do anything reckless. <laughs> I just took out a whole crew, man. That's you don't call that reckless. <laughs> Must have found one jail key. Ooh, it's actually talking. What? We're be left town. You kidding me? You can tell us office lies, but we're still not gonna leave the safe place. <laughs> well, how about I open up your jail cell for you? <laughs> I'm actually gonna do that. But uh, yes, let's open this up, cause I want to see inside. Yes, we're actually going to open up jail cells. We're such good people. Okay, let's open up his too, because I want to see what's there. Let's see if he actually escapes or he... Oh, he does! Hey, what? Oh, wow, thanks, you're letting us loose. Yeah, I don't know what kill you are, but thanks, see ya. Wow, that's funny, you actually let loose a villain. <laughs> but ooh, what? Oh, shiny thing, what is that? <gasps> a TM! Oh my god, what is this? I'm actually excited, what is this? It's, uh, it's a thief, of course. Why did I not expect that? That is just so damn obvious. Can I undo their jail cell? No, I can't. They're just going to keep talking to me. That is just so obvious. I mean, honestly. <laughs> Johnson is as sure as an idiot, though. He just leaves the jail key on the table. I mean, what if, if honestly, Trudley and Folly wanted to escape, they could have just reached out and got it. Like, it's not that far. 
Like, honestly, that's just pathetic. But I think we're done here in Pirate Town. I don't think there's anything more for us to do because we're done the Coliseum. But I'm not going to visit the Coliseum until much, much later. And here's Fatin. Ah, I must be imagining it, but the town's air feels somewhat less dirty. But not all as well. I can feel the presence of black ores coming from Shadow Pokemon. Wow, no, Fatin, nothing escapes your notice. There's a lot. There's a but nothing that eludes them and notice in my fortune telling. Ho, ho, ho. The key to freeing Pokemon from that black aura is it, is it is in the north. Up north? That's where my grandpa lives too. Oh no, I forgot. I was on my way to visit grandpa. He lives in a gatti village. That's north of here. Ho, ho, ho. That being north may be no clear coincidence. Your answer may be there. Oh, my grandpa was a famous trainer when he was young. Maybe my grandpa would know something. Let's go see him, Wesley. I don't know the pronunciation of that. I don't know if it's a gate village, which would make sense because it's a gate village. Yeah, but it could be that or it could be a Gati village. I don't know. It could be a gate K village. I, I really have no clue. Uh, I'm just going to go with the gate village because it just makes sense. But listen to the harmonica. I wish I could play the harmonica like that. Like that just sounds so beautiful, honestly. Such it's such I don't know. It, it really describes the mood of this town. Like it's peaceful. Oh, hey, a silk scarf that actually raises the the what is it? The power of normal type moves and two ultra balls. That's pretty good. So that's pretty good actually. If you have a normal type, then abuse that fact. <laughs> you have a silk scarf now. But it just it just kind of represents what this area is about. Just peaceful. It's kind of like an old feeling to it. It's, I like it. It's it's very it's very fitting for this town. It just it's so oh good. It's it's like one of the most calming things to listen to. A lot of video game soundtracks when they're orchestrated, man, it's just so relaxing to listen to. You just put it. Oh, hey, that's nice. So there is that. That's actually very good because I'm probably gonna need that for my Makuhita just in case if he hasn't level up all the way. So hopefully I don't need it though. Could it be you, Kyori? Is that you? I thought so. Last time I saw you were in little, this little tiny thing. Now look at you. Oh please stop it. I shouldn't keep you. Egon is worried about you. Don't waste any time. You should go see him. I am gonna waste time because I want to explain some things. Here in a gate village, you can do one of a couple of things. On this place, on the top of here, you can actually visit this old man and get berries from him every time you visit the town. So literally what you could do is just go out of the town, press B, and then come back and he'll have a new berry for you. So that's pretty good. If you want berries, if you're a fan of berries, then go ahead. Me, I use them from time to time. Not a lot, though, so, I mean, that doesn't really matter for me. In here, you get two options, actually. Here you have the daycare, which you can just leave your Pokemon, or two, and have them just train together or make an egg. And what you can also do is talk to this old man, which he actually is the name raider, and you can choose the nicknames for your Pokemon. But I'm not going to be doing that yet, because I have to think of some uh, some neat names for these Pokemon, because, you know, I want them to have good names. They're my Pokemon, for God's sakes. Alright, let's go. Grandpa Egon, Grandpa Bella, I missed you. Hi, you Kyori. Welcome, welcome. I heard that you were coming, but you didn't arrive. We worried about you, dear. You finally arrived. What held you up? I had this just this terrible time. On the way here, I was abducted by these creepy people. Luckily, I was saved by Wesley. You happened to be there by coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. How oh, frightful. Thank you for saving our granddaughter. Why would anyone want to harm you, Kyori? It's probably because I can see these bizarre Pokemon. The Shadow Pokemon. That have been turned into fighting machines with hearts of darkness. Shadow Pokemon? What on earth is that? Well... Help! There's trouble! Thegon, it's a serious situation. Some outsiders went into the Relic Forest. What? Who are they? I don't know. They shoved me aside and... That's enough talk. You can wait. I'm off! Oh my god, this music is so tenseful. Ah, I'm going... Ah. It's so tenseful, oh my god. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure my Pokemon are healed, which I think they are. I think they are, yeah. I think, I'm pretty sure they're fine. What I'm going to do, because these trainer fights are kind of useless, I'll probably just skip over them until I'm done, because it just... These trainer fights are kind of pointless until the final one, so I might as well just skip them over. I think there are only two in here, so that's probably what I'll do. Let's go. Let's do this! Hey, what? Here comes another meddler. Oh, meddler. You're trembling when I let my guy out with my guard. That won't happen again! And we are done. After two battles, that is it. And I think that up there 
is the sort of boss and mid boss of this area so I'll leave that for the next video because we are done with this area there are only two trainers there so I mean it wasn't that big a deal I mean Swablu and Umbreon took them down for the most part but I don't want to have Swablu uh, in for the battle be in first because I want to store him on for later for the battle because obviously the guy has shadow Pokemon so I want to save him for Sing so let's get him uh, I'm gonna keep him aside for now because I'll just have Mischievous and Umbreon get some more experience because they need it but now that we've healed our Pokemon, and actually taken care of them at the end of the episode, which doesn't usually happen, we are going to take on the boss and or mid-boss of this area. So until next time, this is Mario Central.